Hey yo, what's up guys, it's John Bogle here and we're back for Red Zone and the movie side, of course with the second stage, we only got two stages for each side. As of now, of course I'm recording this day one of the anniversary, so we're gonna hop in with the Hit and God Goku team. Yes, I'm going into the Red Zone with the 150 lead, that's how confident I am in this team. Also, the first few stages of Red Zone is kind of a joke, so yes. Alright, turn my fan off there, there we go. But yeah, we're hopping in with a 150 lead. MUI, of course, is not going to sell us here. Taking a lot of hits there, but it's double digits anyways. Yeah, like I said, the first few stages are not too bad at all. Buhan's team can beat up to like, what, baby stage? I'm pretty sure. I've done all of them on JP as well, so I do have a bit of experience in the red zone. So I'm not going in completely blind. I mean, it would be fun if it was completely blind. But I did play it on JP, so there's nothing I could really do about that. Also, I don't know when I'm gonna upload all of these videos, but I'm recording them literally like a few hours into the anniversary. Like the anniversary just started, and I'm recording these red zone stages, so I don't know. Maybe I'll release these like spread out across a couple weeks or within a couple days, whatever it is. But by the time you're probably watching this video, I'm guessing the banners might be out already. So if the banners are out, let me know how your summons went, if you got the goats or not. Are you Team Gogeta or are you Team Gogeta? <laughs> Which Team Gogeta are you a part of? Well, even though one of them is not Gogeta technically, but it's a double Gogeta anniversary in its heart. Okay, so MUI can afford to take a couple hits to build up his revive in the beginning here, but STRUI, nah. <laughs> you can, you gotta dodge everything here, STRUI. Don't, oh no, don't sell. Don't sell. Oh, he took it. 400k and we survived. Okay. Now we lived, we lived. UI didn't sell. I don't know what you're talking about, bruh. UI did not die. We lived. We are fine. Perfectly fine. We got the GOAT! Evolution Blue Vegeta not selling today, not this time. That was just a regular rotation, you saw nothing. Wait, actually, it all went according to plan, never mind that. That was all part of the plan. MUI took all those hits in the beginning to build up his revive to cover STRUI's ass. Yeah, look at this, now we're gonna take this, we're gonna get the revive. Okay, never mind, we're chilling, MUI's the GOAT. So we're fine here. But yeah, it was all according to plan. MUI got his revive up just so in case we do die from STRUI selling, MUI is there to take the throne as always. Now clowning aside, I'm very surprised STRUI survived a super attack with only a 150 leader skill type disadvantage. Lord Slug stage is probably like a small little warning of what's to come because Lord Slug last phase and even the second last phase does hit decently hard on a super attack so you can get one shot so Lord Slug is here to let us know of the horrors that are about to come soon later in the anniversary. Okay now what do we do here? Do we trust in... yes why am I even questioning it? See as soon as you question the UIs that's the moment you sell. So that is why STRUI took that super attack, because as soon as that rotation opened, I was questioning STRUI's defense. Then we got hit with the type disadvantage super attack, but here we have type advantage. No super attack or attack is hitting us here, because we're going to be dodging everything. The real thing I'm worried about here is uh, that last slot there. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of scary. Okay, good. The super attack is here, so we know Evolution Blue Vegeta is safe. Yup, there we go. The UIs being the GOATs as always. See, I get it now. STR UI was just trying to make the video interesting there by taking that type disadvantage super in the beginning to add some suspense because of course we're gonna wipe the stage off the damn field. And Vegeta here is gonna get that beautiful KO screen. I don't think Vegeta got hit once in this run yet, which is a very successful run so far. Oh, here we go. We got the revive here. Oh, we got the active skill. Okay, yeah, let's pop that for sure. Oh, I forgot. I have my active skills on once a day only. Well, 
I guess we'll continue here. So we have the revive up, but we're not going to revive. No way MUI is going to sell. Hidden God Goku might sell. Evolution Blue Vegeta or Blue Vegeta at the end there might sell as well. But UI, never. Never. Not happening. Ain't no way. But if the other two do decide to sell, MUI is there to pick them back up. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay, super attack right away. Oh. We're fine. Look at that. Look at the goat reviving. The goat reviving. What are you talking about? He's reviving. That's goat activity right there. Yeah. That's right. The fight is not over, guys. The fight is not over. I can already hear Chalky typing in the comments. But look at that. MUI saved the run. He saved it. The goat. Look at him go. Pow. And we're back with STRUI. We got the active skill here. We're going to play this this time. Pow. There we go. Very sad, their super attack animations are not up to that high level that some of the other T.O.P. units are at. But it seems like they were a very old idea. A very old idea that turned into a unit way later on. But hey, it's cool. We're still chilling here. We're gonna put... Are we gonna... Yeah, I think we're gonna chill with them. But the links... I do want to get legendary power. But I'm not putting tech hit slot one, so we're just gonna go with this. UI's passive is not fully built up, and the passive has not dropped down to 50% yet, I think. It's on turn 7, right? I don't even remember. But look at that. Look at them go on a 150 leader skill. Yeah, their active skill is up, but it's still pretty insane. Now, I know all of you are locked in on that third slot, but I don't know what you're talking about. We're fine. I have no worry. I don't even have to look at the third slot, because I know we're fine. We're going to go into the next rotation. MUI is going to get a nice triple super, triple quit, finish off slug, and we're all fine. Yeah, heal all you want, Lord Slug. That ain't saving you here, okay? We got the double active skill. Let's use these. Nice, nice. We'll take all that free damage there. And once again, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta is not getting hit. He did not get hit in this entire run, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's just how powerful Evolution Blue Vegeta is. He just gets no attacks locked on him. None. And if they do, he finishes the fight before they get to hit him. And here we go. The GOAT going off. This is a guaranteed crit. And he's going to follow up with that triple super here. And the triple crit, of course. Okay, that's fine. But we're dodging everything though, that's for sure. Hey, chill out there. He's trying to be funny. Everyone's trying to be funny out here. It's playing games, playing mind games. But this should finish it off, really. And okay, with the sliver of health, and we're getting super attacked, and we got hit. Yeah, look at that. Slug does a lot of damage. That was after Hit and God Goku attacked as well. And they get a large amount of defense. Yeah, we are in a 150 lead, but still, that is a lot there for Hit and God Goku. But pow, look at that. We survived. There's our time. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Of course, subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Boogle Gang. Rest of the Red Zone videos coming soon. It's been John Boogle, and see ya.